Hi there, everybody. I hope you're doing well today and staying sane through the holiday period of time that we're in here. Um, so whether or not you specifically celebrate Christmas, you may be experiencing some level of sort of the holiday buzz. There's a lot, you know, kind of going on right now. And almost no matter what your situation is, there can be kind of um, some additional pull on you. So whether you are um, experiencing, you know, maybe some anxiety about the holidays coming, you know, there may be a lot of running around, there may be a lot happening, you may be splitting and dividing your time between different families. Um, you may be on your own and feeling lonely, which creates its own level of anxiety and stress. Um, a lot of people at this point are, you know, kind of last minute trying to get quite a bit done. They may be preparing food, they may be trying to do some shopping and present wrapping. Um, in our case, we kind of just got around to <laughs> getting our tree into place this weekend and um, getting things, you know, kind of put together for our time that we're going to spend with our families um, next week. And so it can, um, it can become overwhelming, especially when you're working at the same time or trying to run a business or trying to support other family members and other responsibilities that you may have. Um, it can be very helpful to really evaluate which things are the most meaningful and, you know, which things maybe, you know, you can sort of tick off. Maybe they don't need to happen right now or they don't need to happen this year or this week. Um, we made some decisions, you know, when it came to even small things. So we have a tree this year. Last year we were in an apartment and we had this little tiny 10 inch little Christmas tree. And um, this year we actually have kind of a full size tree. It's, it's not like a real big tall one. I think it's like a four foot tree. Um, but we decided, you know, we could go crazy and spend hours of time hanging ornaments and tinsel and then the stockings. And since we were a little behind schedule with other things that we were doing, we decided, you know what, tree's good. It looks Christmassy. We feel like we're in the spirit. We have, you know, presents and things like that wrapped for our family members. And we have some really cool and unique gifts this year that we're giving, which we're very excited about. Um, we've been, we've chosen to kind of take the creative route. And um, I've designed some things, um, which I can't share on here because they're a secret, um, but they are creative and, um, and very unique and they aren't things that these these people in my family are going to receive from anybody else that's just not possible so i have some cool things for my husband my stepdaughter my mother his parents his grandmothers um, there are just um, some things that we decided to do this year to make it really special and that's where we placed our focus and so we weren't you know super stressed out about whether there's tinsel who cares about <laughs> about tinsel, right? So the point being, it's it's not a matter of what you pick and choose. It's a matter that you do. You know, don't make yourself so crazy that you feel like you have to do every little thing and have every little thing perfect and every little thing perfectly wrapped. You should see the way I wrap presents. It's it's a hoot. <laughs> you can always tell when I did it and not my husband because he's very meticulous, you know. Um, but Sometimes you have to pick and choose and scaling back on the areas that are not meaningful for you in particular can really help to make you more sane. And then I also wanted to briefly talk about um, the art of appreciating because um, a lot of times, you know, this time of year and when things are feeling kind of frantic and rushed, we can get caught up in a lack based focus and thinking I don't have enough time. So there's like a time deficiency. I don't have enough money because I want to buy all these gifts. So there's an abundance deficiency. Instead, if you can step out of that mentality and focus on appreciating 
what's there. And um, what's called a rampage of appreciation or, you know, appreciation, you know, focus or frenzy, whatever you want to call it. All it is, is simply stepping back and saying, wow, you know, we're, we're so lucky that we have, you know, beautiful carpet in our house, or we're so blessed that, you know, we live in this particular area and it's so convenient to get here and here, or, you know, I'm so lucky that I have a dinner to eat every night and we have an abundance of food and lots of choices of food available to us. I'm so lucky that um, I have family to spend time with or you know if you're missing your family and I've been in that situation many many times um, in my life you know focusing on having a positive memory of someone if you've lost a loved one being able to focus on those happy memories that you've had with them um, if you're on your own focusing on some things for yourself that you really enjoy doing like, well wow, it's really cool I actually get some downtime I can read a book or watch a movie or just relax a little bit um, whatever you can find to appreciate it will enhance your focus and I talk all the time about the importance of focus because where we focus we drive in that direction. And the more you focus on things that you're appreciating, the more things you will have to appreciate. You'll continue to draw that forward instead of focusing on a lack-based mentality or not having the time or not having the money or not having the things that you think you need or want. Focus on the things you do have and you'll be amazed at how quickly your vibration, your focus shifts. And the next thing you know, it'll become easier and easier to focus on um, some of those positive things. Once you start to place your focus, your mind is very powerful. And where you choose to place that very intentionally driven focus, you'll continue to bring forward more thoughts along those lines. So that's my, um, <laughs> for this Monday, just before we get into the holidays here, this is my quick tip for you for today. Um, to focus on appreciating because the more you appreciate, the more things will come to you to appreciate. So I hope you found this helpful and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day.